Hey guys, AJYT Abbott here, and welcome back to another movie review. Now, I told you guys in the Birds of Prey review that I was going to do a review for Parasite. Here is the review for Parasite. Um, if you haven't seen Parasite, this review will contain spoilers. I just want to say congratulations to Bong Joon-ho and the entire cast of and uh, producers and just everyone behind Parasite for their abs absolute, um, absolutely um, phenomenal um, contribution contribution to this film, and uh, congrats on the Oscar for Best Picture, and uh, once again, congrats to Bong Joon Ho for Best Director, and uh, it also got Best Screenplay as well, um, which was great. And yeah, this is an Oscar nominated film, and it won Best Picture. Um, I watched it before the Oscars. I watched all of the films before the Oscars. Um, all nine were great that were nominated for Best Picture. This was one of my favorites, uh, if not my favorite, besides Joker of the nine. So yeah, here we go. Uh, the cinematography is actually really good in this film. The way it moves around, I mean, I mean it's not the same caliber of uh, 1917 or Jojo, um, Joker, but it is still very good. Um... It's probably my favorite outside of 1917. Even though in 1917, the cinematography isn't really the not the continuous shot. That's more of directing, because you know he directed that scene, the the whole movie to be that way. Um, it's not really a cinematog cinematography thing. It's just the way the camera moves. Um, so I guess in that case, Parasite would get it for me. But they 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 went in favor of 1917. Uh, anyway, the cast is great. Um, I couldn't name any of them, but, but they are fantastic, especially the guy that plays the dad. He was very, uh, uh, funny, uh, in some of the scenes, and very, uh, shocking, and, 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 and sort of grim in others. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just a lot of, a lot of great acting in this film, and I hope these actors continue to go on in, in great films, honestly. When I first heard of this and saw stuff for it, I thought it was an A24 film. It seems like an A24 film, something that they would do. Um, and also, I had already seen stuff for The Farewell. I thought this and The Farewell were, were connected in some way. But then, no, The Farewell ended up being The Farewell, and Parasite ended up being Parasite. So they were two different movies. I haven't seen The Farewell. I, I'm going to get around to watching The Farewell. I have to watch that. And I think that is it for the A24 films of twenty of 2019. I'm very excited for 2020 uh, in terms of A24. Um, there's just some off-the-rail stuff in this. Um, mainly the final act, and this is where spoilers will come in, so be wary of it. Um, because you do not want this film ruined for you. If you have not seen it, watch it. It is an incredible film. I guarantee. Watch it with subtitles. Get over it. You have to watch it with subtitles. It is worth it. Trust me. Trust me. Um, if you guys trust my opinions on the other movies, and it seems like some of y'all do, then please watch this film. It is worth it. It, it 100%. Um, yeah, there's some off the rails choices, especially in the final act, where it just all goes to hell as the guy, this guy that has been locked up below the rich house, the rich people's house, home for so many years, breaks out and just starts killing people, bro. He kills the sister. He makes the uh, the boy, um, the song. Um, he makes they, he yeah he makes the song faint, and they're trying to get him to the hospital, and then. Um, actually, the mother of the fa of the poor family stabs him and uh, uh, gets him down. So, uh, the dad of the rich family is grabbing the car keys, and this is where the dad breaks. I mean, he loses his crap, man. Uh, well, I'll just make this age-restricted. He loses his shit. And he, uh, he sees the dad, like, throughout the film, they're, they're complaining about the dad's smell and the family smell in general. He's had enough of that. Because they can't help it, they're poor. Um, yeah, he just loses it, takes the knife, and stabs the dad, and kills him. And the dad, you know, just walks, he literally just walks away and hides for years and years until the son gets married and, and has enough money built up to buy the house. Um, and, you know, his mother is there with him as well. 
and he reunites with him in the ending. Uh, that's how that film ends. Uh, or at least it's assumed because it's sort of like a flash forward when he sees his dad and everything. And in reality, it's just him writing a letter to his dad. Um, that That's his plan uh, for, for the future. But yeah, a really great way to rack up the film. And like I said, it carries on in the feel of an A24 film. You know, that sort of like very like delicate and and and, and quiet peaceful moving story and then in the, like the final hour or so it just just goes it just takes so many turns um off feel and I love it for that it can move a tiny bit slow but that is my only complaint this is a phenomenal film guys um, it can only move just a tiny bit slow in the beginning, and that does not even last that long because you get straight into the infiltration into the rich family by the poor family, and then you get the um, very intriguing and, and, and crazy stuff with the, uh, the maid and her husband, uh, the old maid and her husband down in the basement of the rich family's house, and you get all that drama, there's murder involved, they, they kill the maid, and the guy downstairs, her husband, just goes insane. And he is actually the creepiest thing in this film. There is a shot of him, like, I I cannot pinpoint it exactly. He is looking out from, like, this the darkness of the room that, that, you know, leads down to the basement at the boy. And he said, and they're talking about how the boy is, like, says that he sees, he sees people, or he sees, like, ghosts, or monsters, or monsters in the night, or a figure, and, uh, that's who he's been seeing, and it just shows the creepiest shot of the guy downstairs there, looking at him, but, man, yeah, I give Parasite a 10 out of 10, it is a must-see, um, fantastic film, it carries itself just like an A24 film, calm at the beginning, chaos at the end, you know, just like they, just how they do with The Lighthouse and Midsummer, and, uh, even Uncut Gems, you can say, mid, mid-90s, those all carried very calm beginnings, and then just spiraled into either chaos or just very hard drama in the case of mid-90s with the car crash at the end, and Uncut Gems with, uh, spoiler alert for Uncut Gems here, the death of, uh, of, of, uh, Howard, um, Adam Sandler's at the hands of the, uh, the gangs. So, yeah, I just want to thank you all very much for watching. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.